right, good okay. to go. Uh, I'd like to call the uh, Cable and Broadband Internet Commission to order. Um, let's see, as far as attendees, uh, I'm Rob Capone. I'm Luis Rodriguez. Uh, Ash Chicory. Okay, Suzanne Woodland, Deputy City Manager, Regulatory Council. Stephanie Secord, Public Information Officer. Chad Cordner, Executive Director of PPM TV. Okay. Um, I guess so. Just working down the list, list real quick first. I will just approve the uh, the minutes real quick from uh, June seventh. Motion to approve. Yep. All right. Second. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. Um, we are going to just reorganize uh, things a little bit just so that uh, we'd have Chad do, uh, talk to us first. So we're going to push him up. Um, which is actually let's see, three. is that sort of three? Okay. Well, even better. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So take it yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So exciting news for PBM TV. Um, we just signed with two different leases um, right. last week. Uh, one is at the Fox Run Mall. That is where our studio operation will happen. Um, so our stages, people who want to rent gear, they can rent gear through there. If they want to use green screen, they can use green screens there. They can use stages um podcast equipment um video recording obviously um and uh if they want to rent out gear uh they can rent out through there we also are um we have a lease with uh the j group um we have an office there we're going to be moving our server rack to that location um where the majority of my work and the majority of our studio our programming manager um will operate out of um I've talked to Comcast. I know it's uh, 42 days. Um, I'm still waiting on them a little bit, but um, we are moving uh, in, in the right direction for them. Um, they need to tour the space, uh, see where they can put the fiber drop in. Um, and then, uh, yeah, get that going and move it over. And then by, I would think, October, we would be completely out of 280 Marcy. So right now we are currently moving things. I just came from there now. Uh, 10 minutes ago. Uh, it's going to be a great spot um, for members of our organization and um, for our studio operations. Uh, it's it's going to be a real upgrade um, with the ability to create content for uh, our members. And then um, the J group space is, it, it's, you know, it's office size uh, space, but it's going to be great for programming out of um, editing. Um, internships uh, can be done there for programming, learning how to program shows and use our server system so it's uh looking good a uh, quick quick question yeah you, said, you mentioned j group what's the yeah. location for the j group the location yeah it's, uh, it's above it's um it's in the offices above jumping jays okay um okay. so it's actually the side door jumping jays mm -hmm. you see a lot of people going in and out of there there's a bunch of small businesses that work out of there um so yeah. we uh we got an office there and we'll be able to hold our meetings there um and uh you know anything we want to do that that space could handle um we won't be able to do any recording there video recording because it's just too small but the majority of our work we're going to be moving towards you know covering events in the town right. and and that just you know we need a place to store our gear to be able to go into town and and film like you know the parade and all of that so um we should still be able to go live um, I think there's a couple different ways we can do that um, from our studios and from downtown. Um, so that I'm kind of working my way and figuring out. So it's a good, it's a good location with you right in downtown area. Probably. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be able to, you know, we might be able to set up for the parade right out in front of J Group. Um, web, live webcam. I know it comes through. Yeah, yeah. You could live webcam. Um, we we like to be down near like we're like you know the mayor and everyone the tree lighting um but we could shift our our space there um or a little closer to j group we might be able to just patch right into the server there so, right right um which would be really cool because we we've only been able to really go live maybe three times from um like services that we've rented um there's like little it's basically we're going live to youtube 
putting the YouTube channel onto our uh, uh, TV at the That's studio. What I was about to ask. Yeah, and then are you guys utilizing that and kind of going like the opposite? Yeah, way it's and like the streaming that to your cable feed. Yeah, and then we just put that up, which we still would be able to do anywhere, right? Um, with an internet service, so. So yeah. I'd, what do you guys rely on in the field for doing such a thing? Are you guys also reliant on, this is also maybe kind of backboning on our next topic. So talking about cellular data, um, do you guys, like when you, if you are doing a live stream event or something like that, and you're using a YouTube live feature or something. Yeah. What are you using for like a reliable internet connection in the field? So in the past, we've had Comcast um, come down and, and set up a Wi-Fi service in the little um I don't even know what it is, the white little booth thing right in front of where yes. the kiosk. Um, they've been able to install an internet source there. Um, we have been able to pull off businesses, local businesses that will allow us to. Um, but I certainly want to be able to get our own hotspot or something that that would allow us to be able to just bring that down, not jump on anyone's Wi-Fi right. because there's a thousand phones that walk around that area that might be connected. And it's you know, reliable. yeah, it's not fully reliable but it has worked uh in the past i want to be able to just have something that you know we just bring down and turn it on and right. be able to go live to youtube and then send that youtube to our air right. um that would be the goal we've done it a few times uh but it is it's a little bit of a nightmare to do just because service if if it goes out for a second all of a sudden everything is like chaos and you're like what's going on oh, right, so, it's video it's time sensitive yeah yeah and so you know, you get the mayor coming by and all of a sudden it shuts off. We're like, uh oh, but we, we always record everything too. So we have it. It's just a live, right. I know people would really like to see that on, on like, especially the holiday parade, the Halloween parade. We usually shoot that to, to post. Um, so we just go down there with a couple cameras just cause it's not really illuminated the way the holiday parade is. And the, it's, it's kind of dark. And right. We don't really have, you mentioned even a tree lighting. I always, actually go down there but we could have the ability to just watch it mm -hmm. you know, i know people who used to live in portsmouth yeah you know they missed it because they moved they're like oh we should yeah. see a tree lighting so that would be good yeah it's actually the the first few things i i really saw about portsmouth that i wanted to move here for were those parades i saw them years ago i saw like oh my god they did this crazy parade and there's pictures and everything i was like this is really cool like I've, I've come up here to vacation when i was like younger but um yeah, I, I I think that would be really beneficial to the city and and for all PPM TV to be able yeah. to have that. So I'll look into that as much as I can. Um, I know it's cost, and I'm sure we could figure out something. But yeah, yeah, and I'm sure it's also a chicken egg thing where you're like, okay, yeah. as long as you you're, if you're providing good viewing, you're yeah. gonna have or good programming, you're gonna have viewers, and as long as you yeah. have viewers, you'll be able to provide the good viewing, you know, viewing opportunities. So yeah. And we get, I think our, the parade from last year got like 600 views. Uh, and, and so that's, I mean, maybe people from town are rewatching it, just see if they're on camera or something like that. But I, I can't imagine that 600 of them are just from the Portsmouth area. It's got to be from. I've, I've shared the link uh, with my boss in Tennessee. So <laughs> oh, okay. they're coming from Tennessee then. <laughs> um. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at now. Um. It's just, you know, we, we're trying to juggle, you know, when do we cut the power at 280 and cut the internet at 280 and start it over at this space. And um, it's kind of all, you know, up to uh, Jake, our, our studio operations manager and I, because we're doing the majority of the moving right now. Um, so we're, we're trying to get everything done with two people and move an entire studio over there. So it's, we're kind of trying to figure out, okay, well, our, our time when we're going to be like, Hey, we're out is, you know, we got to, I think we have to wait a couple of weeks before we officially give that day. I know we're doing a 30 day, um, uh, but I think we're probably going to figure that out within the next week. So, so saying out of October, uh, October, basically. Yeah. Um, I think October will probably be operational again. Um, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, just cause it, we're, we're trying to declutter the 1980s gear, um, and keep the, <laughs> 1990s gear um so it's we're gonna talk to nhccm and and we all know um and see if uh any of them need extra older gear that some stations don't have you know where we're at now right. and 
well, I've, I've worked with the guys over in Bedford and they've given stuff to us before and donated so that, you know, we can upgrade a little bit more. I know there's stations out there that are operating out of a closet. So, right. Yeah. No, that's so. True. Yeah. True. That's, that's, it's all good stuff right now. So we're excited. So. All right. Well said. That's good news. And yeah. we'll just yeah. wait and, you know, take your, you know, do what you need to do to make yeah. it orderly. So, yeah. Um, the Comcast thing, I think, is our big, our big question right now, just because we can't, I mean, we don't want to turn everything off exactly. and have a few weeks where we're not, you know, right. producing co or airing yeah. content. Um, so once we get that, that kind of date when they come in and inspect and go, okay, yeah, it's going to take us a day to get this in. And um, yeah. And then right when we know that is when we'll be able to move everything over. I do have a question about the, the Comcast, um, the, uh, how they'll pay for the fiber and, and put that all together. Are they, uh, they're not responsible for moving the actual server rack over there. Correct. Correct. Just so, okay. for the just the setup. Giving you oh, the yeah. yeah. Okay. Feed, Good. Basically. Good. Yeah, because I was a little nervous about that either way, because it's like it's Comcast. Would they know really how to set the server up? And then would we have to hire someone to really, you know, redo our server rack if they just take it and move it over and so yeah, Comcast just come in and gives you a fiber and say, This is your modem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So and you'll switch. So cool. Yeah. So just waiting on that. Um and then we'll 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 have a, a a real good idea of when we're going to be fully operational from our two other spaces. So it would be good once you know once you're fully operational, just have have you back. Just yeah, give you I, like another. I'd like to do that, and I'd like to do a kind of a grand opening. Um, of invite everybody over to see the the spaces and get an idea. Keep in mind, um, you know, Stephanie can feed back to to Monty or yeah, you know, communications. Yeah, you know, guru. Yes. And, you know, additional kind of, yeah, let the public know and yeah. help kind of provide maybe a, a bigger notice than you might get just pushing out through that would be awesome. Um, folks. So yeah, just let us know as your plans get firmed up and, yep. you know, it'll be good for the city council to know. So yes. when you're ready, I'll, you can make sure that they get notice as well. Yeah. Of kind of how you're doing. All right. Great. So yeah. Thank you. That's okay. it. I guess. Yeah. Right. yeah you're, so you're I good. I guess I'll I yeah, I was was yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we yeah. tried to come last time, but or uh well it was like two months ago. You guys uh ended up canceling. Right. Um but uh yeah, um it was good to be able to come by and uh I'd like to be more in contact with you guys anyways, okay. just so you guys are more in the loop and we're more in the loop with things coming up. I know that yep. they're negotiating and Yep. next year right? yeah. and yeah. the more the more visibility you get you know the meeting minutes will reflect this as well yeah. so it goes out so awesome more visibility all right yeah. thank you everybody thank I you. appreciate thank it you, yeah. that's meaningful. thank you for having me <laughs> <laughs> have a good rest of your meeting you too. Thanks. Uh, it was nice meeting you yep. take care all right that's one page okay so all right okay so yeah we'll move back uh now to uh Page update. Thank you much for letting him jump ahead of you. It's always, I think, it's, sorry, I figured it'd be, it'd be quicker that way than, all right. Yeah. All right, so yeah, so we'll move on to the web page updates, with the survey results, and FAQ. So I circulated the document that Stephanie uh, worked on to try and uh, take the results from the survey. Yeah, um, super helpful, thank you. Form that we could get out right. to the city council that we could get out up on the web page um and and so i i thought it came together really well i liked the way we incorporated some of the quotes um which is all stephanie's doing in terms of trying to capture the key elements i mean if you see something else i'm sure stephanie would be willing to go back um and and look if there's some kind of piece of what you guys read in the personal comments that you want to kind of look for. I, we're happy to take feedback on that. So I'll be quiet now. And if you guys want to weigh in on what you like or don't like for this. I'm, I'm part of what you call the coloring book crowd. <laughs> I like that. That tells me, you know, I, I looked at the whole picture. I'm like, okay, that's telling right there. So to me, that was, you know, I live in charts. So 
right that's it you <laughs> and know, yeah you can tell you exactly <laughs> The size also, I mean, it definitely adds to the length, but I think the size definitely is helpful. I just, I love a, a you know, a circle chart. Uh, so definitely was super helpful there. So, um, and not only that, but again, also I can't help but say like when I saw at the bottom, they, you know, are at the end with the 364 responses. If you went through all of those, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Because I'm sure that there was a lot of, uh, you know, sort of similar corresponds but you you got to figure out and call out the stuff that's important that isn't necessarily what everybody's saying like i'm sure there were a lot of people complaining about prices and, and other things that we have no control over um but it's just it's important i think to provide that information as well as to provide something that that's that we can act on as well so thank you i, I did try to first step was to combine like with like so right and of course, many people talked about multiple things. So then it's, how do you sort it? But then trying to pick quotes, like I, I had to include the dealing with Comcast. I, I'd rather have an IRS on. Yes. That is such yeah. a classic quote um, from a news person's perspective. But I wanted, I, I was looking for comfortable real language. Suzanne and I talked about not prettying things up other than to make them more readable so that different voices come through in the comments um, and really just highlights I because most people are in the coloring book crowd my only concern is that's still a lot of text mm. and I guess people who don't want to read all of it won't read all of it but um, we could bold expressions if you think that would be useful that's not hard to do i'm open to like yeah i mean i admittedly i went in and highlighted in a couple of places and but um yeah I, I don't know if people are up to that i was concerned about highlighting because if they didn't highlight it in the original and yeah, we're quoting it's taking them out of context yeah because maybe they wouldn't say that that's, that's it. so point. i struggled yeah. with that because i i liked it from a no, readability I, but no. then i thought oh if we've got quotes around it and they didn't add the emphasis exactly. i was yeah you know All hesitant right. to yeah. add emphasis for them um but yeah we're we're flexible on the on the feedback here we just tried to get a you know, if you like your information one way, there it is. If you like it another way, here it is. Yeah, um, I, liked it. I liked it like that. Um, you know, it feels, again, these are things, when you look at like reviews, you're always weary of the online or like Comcast reviews, you don't see like the real picture. This is a very real picture. So I think people all would be interested in going through and reading the, just, you know, I don't think that highlighting, again, the way that you kind of broke it down in between these, you know, little sections, it's, it's, yeah, I liked it. So I was happy with it. Good. All right. That was our goal. Yeah, that was great. Sure. And I, I did find um, our, our first challenge was that the, the graphs that the system provides don't translate well. They're very blurry. So with only a few graphs, it was clear that it was going to be easier and clearer to just recreate the graphs. Once I did that, I said a pie chart is much more immediate yeah. than a bar chart, at least to me. And so that's how that was the evolution of the graphics. And once doing that, adding in the actual values was very simple to do. And um, I, I think also the the ranges, the one to five are much clearer to read if you don't have to keep remembering one is low, five is high, if it just says it. So, right. so that's how we ended up there. Okay. So if you're satisfied with this, this will become part of the web page and we'll, we'll uh, talk about web page updates in a minute. And if you're okay, I'll also um, share this with the Portsmouth City Council so so one thing i was wondering I about and, and it, this is definitely like again me being the nitpicky that yeah. i am so definitely don't be afraid to throw me to the mat and tell me i'm <laughs> kind of crazy but i'm wondering with the bar graphs is there any way and can anybody any suggestions as far as marking where average is because i know that we sort of discussed this the first time we saw the bar graphs we're like oh yeah it doesn't look that bad and then we're like 
oh, well, look at the average. Ooh, yeah. that's not good. Like, you know, for instance, with how satisfied are, are you with comic guys? You're like, all right, well, 2.3 out of five. Like, okay, that's that's closer to unsat- unsatisfied than neutral. So that's a very negative place to be. So, but I, I also, there's such a thing as, first off, clubbing people over the head with information, but also like maybe just, like I said, asking asking something that really isn't that helpful or isn't doable. So what I have tripped over, having converted everything the way I have, is at the for the heading we're saying average two point three of five, and there's no correlation of one, two, three, four, five. So adding that that extra bar or a adding one two three four five to these categories of very unsatisfied to very satisfied i think that we should do that and number two is i can add a bar right just a single line Line. that reads right wherever the average is i mean and and again that i don't know if that would necessarily like you know average joe is are they going to understand what that is too let's think about it this way so that's why I'm open. So I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I'm, um, I just had a hundred thoughts in a second. So let's see if any of them make sense. I was thinking, okay, so where do we get this system from? Like an Amazon reviews, right? So products and you see what stars are. But let's say that you look what what I like about the graph bar graphs and the, the average not actually necessarily being included is the bar graphs represent how many people fall into each of these categories. Um, so where if, if you had like a big spread, let's say a bunch of five-star reviews, a bunch of one-star reviews, and you get like this kind of low average, it doesn't represent maybe, ne- you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like, like there's people that are very, very, sa- like there's there's just as many people that are very satisfied with this as there are that, that are not. And uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, it, it almost like doesn't, so it's like a 2.5, but it's, but still, it's like, wait, half the population, like, why? So so seeing that, just the bar graph, without a 2.5 rating, then that gives you an idea of, like, there might be different population, like, what's, why? You know, yes. that gets you thinking of that. Not just, like, this service has a 2.5 rating, and that's what I'm going to judge it on. I'm going to look at the bar graph. I'm going to see 30% of, you know, if you look at the bar graph, yeah, yeah. an decent, even number of percentage of people fall into the top half of these so although maybe the average rating may be a little bit lower because there are a significant number of people in the lower rating, right? Take looking at like a three point five rating, yeah, it's like yeah, but most people are kind of up there. Yeah, I don't know. No, no. It's so that's why. So that I, I, I was think, just thinking. So it's yeah, like absolutely if you're right. Thinking about like a, I, I don't know. I think it's a. I, I've changed my opinion. I don't know. So it, it would but not also be a it, true it's like a layman's version of standard deviation. Yeah. Like you can definitely if you see yeah. a big spread. Yeah. yeah. The big difference is then it's the equivalent. So yeah, let's not do. I like yeah, exactly. your idea though. Like, like, That's exactly putting the that. number, maybe putting the number in below the bar, just to. So I, but it's, I guess I don't know the if that's question too much too. is, sorry, didn't mean to oh, No, 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 no. I, we're all um, driving. Maybe I mean I, I, I think your description is very sensible and understandable. But so. That leads me to think that maybe we don't put in the average number at yes. all. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Take that title off and we don't put in one, two, three, four, five, because it, then that's an irrelevant. I was going to suggest that you too. Take out the, is that's to take out true. what they're that's answering on just very unsatisfied, satisfied. Where do people from, fall in on this? It's kind of like a happiness. Yeah, that we're talking about it. I, I agree because I, I liked looking at the bar, yeah. you know, where they were chunking out. Yeah. And actually, Probably from Comcast's point of view, the fact that they've got 24% and 29% in the satisfied, they're probably thinking, whoop. Yeah, you can almost lump those two together and, and, and yeah. you know, in their turn. Yeah. So that's, you know, and you can do that mentally. But I, yeah. so I think this, just this gives you that ability to, to perceive it in the way that I think it should be perceived is where do my neighbors and my what, brethren, you know, I think what fall we in on could these. Use in, in the graph itself, just put, you know, a number of responses. This way, if people mm-hmm. want to, do a percentage, oh, uh, 10% of 300 is not, they can do it themselves. But right. if we do it like, you know, at the bottom, something like that. Well, we got 500, it says it's at 508 responses, and I'm right. assuming that all responders right. the top, right. responded to, to, okay. to, yeah. to so so we have the map. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, so I think that, yeah, I think, I, I guess I think I kind of like the way it is, but again, I don't know if I'm overthinking it or underthinking <laughs> it, but giving it like a, a number rating 
I think in this instance, when you're looking at how many people fall into these different categories and you're judging that again, seeing people falling into a neutral, satisfied and very satisfied, I could lump all those together in my head and be like mm -hmm. 75% of the people, you're okay. they're fine. And so that gives me an idea to, for me to judge. That that's the way I'm going to judge it. But if I see a 3.5 rating, I'm going to say, Ugh, right. that's kind of low. Right. And I would make that judge on that where I, I don't know. And I also noticed that on the, I think it's the third bar, how satisfied are you overall? I It's missing the percentage number over each bar. So yeah, I just, oh, yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, we'll fix that. So we'll take out the averages and take out, and then we don't need the, the one, one to five, five yeah, which just cleans it up. It, yep, it, it cleans it up a lot. Yep, mm -hmm. okay. Cool. That's it's good. And we're all like, oh, we're ready to move on. I mean, it's like, wait. Yeah, no, and that's why I thought it'd be good to just kick it around because it's. And another thing with the, uh, do you plan to renew with, uh, the, which is on, let's put page three, the, the four that are equal. I'm wondering, and again, I, I apologize for being like nit, picking up the nitpicky no, no, things no. after all this work is done, but no. could we maybe put the yes and the maybe next to each other? So that way, again, so put, put yeah. maybe yes, and then have the the no be opposite the maybe. So that way you could look at it either way, sort of say, okay, a half, is it right. half? Depending on how, what, what you take is maybe, yeah. is maybe, maybe yes, or is maybe a maybe no. Yep. Either way, you can very quickly look and be like, all right. Yep. Kind of the same idea where you can kind of group these different clusters of information together. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. sure. And I don't know, again, it might be that I'm the easy. only person in the world. No, that makes that sense, it's actually. Good. It's a good progression. Yeah. Yes, maybe, no. Don't yeah. know. Yeah. I, right. I agree. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. This is why it's sometimes good to get yeah. other brains together because we're looking at things differently. Right. Yeah. Good. All right. So we'll get that cleaned up. Yep. One last question. Do yep. you want to do the same thing on the last five? Yeah, I think all, all of them should follow the same. Yeah. Thanks. Like a yes, maybe no, and on the second one, yes, maybe yes, okay. no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Great. For, yeah, for all, all so the I'll, charts. I'll do that. Yep. Okay. And that's something that would be shared with a with a new could be shared on the newsletter, right? Of the fourth oh. newsletter. Oh, we could. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, of yep. Comcast survey. So that people know that their input matters. Right. Yeah. It, we'll come up with a blurb. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we we should advise the council first and then yep. same day. Um roll it out. Yes. I know Monty has all the pieces ready to go. And are you gonna do it on Tuesday's agenda or next meeting? Uh it wouldn't be on Tuesday's agenda because that's, that's done. set. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't want to shove so it in twenty first or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Okay. This is One rush. Question Sorry. is when we if we were to include this information on in our newsletter, do we want to include the comments? Only because I guess I look at some of the comments that there are several of them that are saying things that to be honest, people are misinformed. Like I I guess I take exception, like I kind of hit me definitely in the gut. There's like you know, that there was one person in particular that says, like, you know, the fact that this is on you, Cable Commission, that, that we don't have any select, we don't have any choice. I'm like, we have no control over that. Yeah. And and that is a or good do, point. do we and put I, a, a response together or what respond to these? So know. so that's part of the conversation. Cause I didn't know whether to keep those in what or to such? take them out but we do have the faqs which addresses some of that do we want to talk it. about the faq and then we can decide what we think about those well, comments that show the you know just maybe not fully understanding our role and our what we have and, and i guess my, my only concern is like okay if it's in two separate places they this and the response I don't know if I can necessarily rely on every person or most people to be reading both. So maybe so, we put a little note in there. Yeah. I mean, I, I so don't, that's why and maybe I'm just being oversensitive. No, I you're not. Definitely, I think it's a very fair Just point. a link to, I looked at the FAQ earlier. It was good. Let's say link from the newsletter this to the pre, pre FAQs, and then we can add more to this. So I think from 
that discussion, it makes sense to pull the comments out of the document that has the graphs. Mm -hmm. okay. Create that as a separate PD as its own PDF. Okay. Then we can have the comments as its own PDF or package it with the FAQs, either having the comments before or after, sort of leaning toward have the FAQs first yeah. and then have some of the comments. Okay. The, the comments are selected. Put yeah. those together so they're in one place. Okay, do you want to pull up the FAQs? The FAQ mentions the uh, what part of what you said the uh, yeah companies coming in and stuff. And so I'm not fixed on these. This was something for us to discuss. So if I if we need another question, differently worded question, different answer, this is just to get us talking. Yeah. Just one other thing I see there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Consolidated fit also would be a. Well, consolidated is they broke off and their Fidium is was consolidated, so that became the internet piece. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I didn't know. <laughs> yep. We could put Fidium fiber fiber Formal. in parens formally Formal. consolidated. Uh, okay. So are you good with the first question and answer? Because that's the one that comes up. Uh, right. I just, but we could start somewhere else. Um, but we'll go through them all and then. So, so we're mentioning cable TV, right? Because some people have dish networks. Right. So we're just mentioning cable. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that, I was going to say like, if you could add a sentence, it's just, just kind of like Landon's like streaming and satellite services yes. are available city would welcome a competitor so I, I would you know just for the you know people who may not fully understand yes, no. there are streaming services there are satellite services as well I believe. Um, so put that sentence after the not exclusive mm -hmm. yeah. and put and I, I don't know you know do we want to we've kind of done already so do we want to also like list everything out so it's like there are streaming services available i don't know what they are but they're oh it's like you like your direct tv your dish network yeah and then like or in satellite direct tv what i'm saying is that we we list a lot of the alternatives we're you know mentioning fidium fidium.com you know we're almost name dropping on a lot so right. are, if we're going to be that um specific in some areas do we want to be specific in all in That's all of question. these areas so like with the first question if we're going to mention there are streaming services and satellite services like Dish Network. What are streaming services? I don't know. I mean, there's a like YouTube TV, Slingbox, Sling, Roku, uh, Roku. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, right. it's, yeah, then you got to get into this so opening like, can of worms exactly thing. Like, and that but at the same time, it's informative. It's it's letting people know that this right. is what's available. Well, and so. not, uh, people may just not know. Like they don't I know have what to say that's... since I what is the core? Like we really don't miss. Most of them, Millie, we're we're probably our viewing may not match our, our the way we view may not match the normal population. So I guess I would maybe I would just say streaming services because that's outside of us, uh, completely outside of our purview, right. essentially. So we cannot mention. We can say there are streaming services, satellite and services. satellite. I would, and satellite, I might just mention Dish so that, as like oh, a reference. But streaming services, dish. yeah, such as Dish. But streaming yeah. services are there's so many, right? And it's it's not cable. Yeah, it's like let's not open that. I think with the other things, we're offering alternatives to the thing that is within our scope. So I think that's more. I mean, streaming services are so broad, we can't mention every single one. So yeah. I, I mean, like we, we could like in parentheses, streaming services such as blah blah, blah etc. Yeah. 
it, yeah, there's just yeah, yeah, you want like, you just one example, Hulu, Roku, whatever, or just avoid it completely. I think just avoid it. It's okay. it's again, it's so far, it's it's internet, it's streaming service. I mean, sure, I don't know. Well, plus, I think this is also a this is a living document. Like, it's not like it's going to print. And we're and we're then right. going to be stuck with a lot of if yeah. we decide later on. If you don't mind, we'll just have, yeah. have you. Yeah, I mean, we could even make it a very. If it becomes a. If we see hits on this page, we could put start putting links to, you yeah. know, we could make it a very, right, interactive live document as we, you know, if we feel people are really using it. Um, that'd be another thing. I don't. I didn't see the, fidiumfiber.com. Make I sure those are all hyperlinks. I was debating oh. whether to add links, and I'm sometimes inclined not to right. because you know so yeah like gets hijacked like and, it, yeah. and or they change the yeah, yeah. So okay yeah. that's fine I don't but know. i did wrestle with that with yeah. it put in any any links but i thought you know i really don't want to set people up for competition i just want to give them information yeah i know right. so i'm like I, a weird I, seo guy so i'm like it. clicks are good yeah. so like get everybody to click on the page as much as humanly possible that's all i'm thinking but i, I get i get that yeah. as well it's so, not it's not our question about this goal. Because it's us, would Comcast have an issue of us mentioning this? Medium, for example, would they have? An oh, issue? I expect they might be a little grumpy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like whenever. But I wasn't gonna tell them it was there. We're Let's not see breaching... how long they actually. Right, this is a again, why it's you know being a, a flex. We're not breaching time. anything. Sorry. But I mean, yeah. if you look at it, and it's, it's a this, it's but... it's like yeah. an honest, it's an honest question getting brought up by our constituents, and we have to give an answer. Like, are there options available? It's like. What, we're not going to not mention the option exactly. available. So as long as we're not out there promoting it, you know, right. again, I mean, it's right. fine. Oh, I don't think it's even right. I mean, part of this commission is also to inform people, right? That's a lot of people might exactly part of that. what I consider my job. Yeah. So we got to. So good. maybe what we do, so go back to the first question. Maybe the city would welcome a cable TV competitor, period, streaming and satellite, satellite services are alternatives uh, there are no Post cable and because you because it's 5g right providers like you know at&t has their own tv and they have 5g networks so yeah. it's streaming and well that kind of goes uh, into so streaming, yeah, to, to stream you need you need in it, right? yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's why that kind of gets covered yeah. by the second one streaming and satellite services are also available yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. And then we we have these. This question gets asked of me all the time, and I'm sure you know of you. Yes. What are the other options Again. for internet? Right. And this is the basic one. Um, And then, you know, it's not only your neighborhood that is asked, oh, how come Fidium doesn't serve my neighborhood already? It's like we had no control over where they laid their, yep. yeah. their infrastructure and we have limited ability to. Right. The, the good thing, I think they're expanding and you, you sign up as well. So you see Fidium everywhere now for some reason. You can sign up and then notify you when your area is being serviced. So. Um. And people do ask, how come there's no competition to Comcast? I get it all so, the time. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was trying to think of all the times we've been asked this question mm -hmm. or when people come and. I think yeah, the last sentence is, is good. It's basically like, yes, there's no. Nothing we can yep. that we're doing that's inhibiting. Right. Us. Right. We're, if happy anything, to do uh, another go back to really question one. We're welcoming quickly. competitors. <laughs> if, if, I might yeah. even take relatively out of there. I yeah. think that really the the regulatory burden is minimal. Like, yeah. As far as I know, like I don't know yeah. is that is that I, I'm good with that because I don't think we'd spend a lot of time negotiating a franchise agreement. It'd be like, hey, here's the one we've already got. Right. We'd look at theirs in a heartbeat. Yeah. I think we're we'd be so excited to have a competitor i think we'd be happy you know we just have the state law that says it's got to be basically equivalent to what mm -hmm. is you know you have with the other with comcast and mm -hmm. push that puppy through yeah. copy paste yeah okay. um, so i think when you think of regulatory burden there's also the 
do you see kind of, you know, this, this understanding of what goes on the poll when and rules related to how soon, you know, if you want to hang new infrastructure, how soon the poll okay. owner has yep. to respond and the other companies move. And that's part of the, okay. the burden. Yeah. Um, and then getting at the key issue <laughs> that comes up. Uh, So on the last question, uh, yep. I think it almost kind of, so it, in some of the things we kind of are, you know, the way that we sort of say is kind of like what we don't do, like, no, we're not in charge of this, yep. we're not in charge of the rates. And then on the last one, it kind of sounds like if you have issues, yes, contact us. Or maybe we, we, we should maybe expand on that in the FAQ of like, here are examples of things that you should, that, that we are here to help you with. If you are having issues, you know, getting, you know, not being resolved, you know, blah, blah, and I can't come up with any other ones because I actually don't know what our, what our reach is, but if we could come up with that, because I feel like we have maybe three or four kind of like, we can't really do this. We're not in charge of this. We welcome competitors, but it's out of our control. Basically then, so then I kind of feel Thanks. like at the end, it's kind of like, however, what, you know, what is, what is the cable commission here to help me with one uh, gather and provide from you know we we can come up with this we can brainstorm like what it is gather and provide you know, you know if you cannot get through to or if you're ha still having issues if you're having a long term issue please bring it forward to us we can at least get it you know through I don't know we can come up with that I think that would be like a good last one which you're kind of almost doing already it's kind of like if you're having issues then contact us but I think we should expand on that it's like yeah. what does the what can the cable commission help so me I'm with thinking of a I'm thinking of a, of a table scope out of scope Right. So basically, on the scope of the commission, what we do as scope, that we cannot do. That's basically yeah, drilling it down to yeah. But if we make just like a question, maybe just giving it some example, you know, maybe example. three or four examples. I think because our scope and out of scope, we could go. It's it's they're 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 somewhat undefined. I think like until something gets brought up to us, we kind of find out what we can and cannot do. Right. Or, I, or I just say, yeah, I'm kind of leaning more toward a couple of examples only because once we put a table together, then it's like, I feel like it's got to be absolutely all encompassing and accurate. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there's so much that could grow. Or where, like, what about whereas this? We have a couple things just to kind of maybe get them thinking. Like, I don't know. It's open yeah. to just kicking it out there, see what let, other people say. Yeah. So let me tell you what I tend to get because this is, I thought of just helping people find me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm for the calls that I make. And it tends to be um, for technical service issues, yeah. billing issues, and package issues. Because if people are trying to evaluate whether there is some better package for themselves and they find it hard with kind of navigating the website or working with say the initial customer service rep. And so those are the three buckets that I generally get questions. And usually it's because they've been unable to resolve it through the customer service portal. Mm -hmm. I tried the chat bot. I was on the phone. The tech <laughs> person came out twice already. And that's when it comes to me. Mm -hmm. And so though that's what I was trying to capture. For those people who have got those technical service issues or a billing issue or are having difficulty evaluating their options. Let me know and then I bump it up mm -hmm. because I, I was going to share with you, I did have another call last week with someone who was having trouble navigating just what the package options were. Okay. Is there any other option than what I have to lower my bill? And I don't have a list of channels that I can find easily. Could they just email me a list of channels so I can figure it out, you know, which package I should be on because I can't find it on the website clearly. And so I sent that note off 
to the Comcast representative and said, she's just having trouble. She wants to stay with you, but she really needs to evaluate whether there are some other options and can't navigate the website sufficiently to figure out what those options are. And like two days later, because I provide the contact information, I got an email back from the Comcast rep said, we made contact, we provided the information and it's sorted out. Now I can call back the person to see if they felt it was sorted out, but um, I figured I might get another call <laughs> if it hadn't. But I think those are the types of things where sometimes because you know Comcast is obviously using that AI chat and those other pieces that you know don't always work for every type of situation or someone who needs a little more handholding or frankly sometimes their website just doesn't it's not, not user friendly. No. Um and and this you know becomes a vehicle for me to help get someone particularly you know knowledgeable of whatever issue they have and it just kind of moves to the real person <laughs> as opposed to an unreal person um and and gets a little bit of resolution and even if I've found that even if they don't get the answer they want, like, no, you're actually on the cheapest package that you can possibly get for the things you want. Mm -hmm. At least they feel like they've talked to someone yeah. to fully explore it, which is something, you know, to feel like they fully vetted whether they have another option. Um, so that's what I was trying to capture in that. And, and I too didn't want to make it too broad Mm -hmm. But I figured we were going to have a conversation and you guys might collectively be able to help me figure out if there's a way to um, to capture that. But that was my intention to help people find me and that avenue to maybe speak with someone right on point or to get that extra technical assistance, you know, that that better tech, you know, when the first technician couldn't solve the problem. And so it's a good first step in the escalation. Right. So you, you do the triage basically. Yeah. Right. So but that's what it is. I escalate to try and get a different level of service to see if maybe we can cross the so threshold. Do you want to add to the end of that sentence before the examples? Because I think the examples would help. But if it says um, the staff uh, send an email to the commission and the staff liaison for the commission may be able to help raise the question to the next level with Comcast. I think something this like doesn't, that. Yes, this doesn't, this says you that. help, yes. but to say we, and that we don't know, solve that it. suggests <laughs> your authority as well. Yeah. Your jurisdiction. On authority. Authority. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's it, Stephanie. I think it's something like that, that that's like not that. within my control to fix it, but to escalate it to, to help identify a better connection. resource. Yeah. Years on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With Comcast. Yep. What do you think? And maybe we could put some examples. Right. Yeah. But does that make sense? That that was my intention to try and help people at least find a path forward. Yeah. Um, I think it's, again, it's yeah, a good start. I, I like yeah. the fact that yeah, I absolutely agree. It's like, okay, you're not providing the solution, you're providing the the introduction or the connection to the solution. Yeah. So yeah, you're just yeah. Okay. Good. We'll play with that. Escalation pathway. Yeah. 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 So then where on this page would you like to see the link to the results of the survey? Short blurb as the survey, the PDF itself says, what is the survey? When did it happen? Who did I, we survey? I think Monty had done a mock-up with like a button mm -hmm. for like the survey results. And yep. then the FAQs were a different one. So I think okay. you and Monty- So there's another page over this. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll find the page of the commission. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But I think if we break it, if we're breaking up the- The graphics Strap. from the from the words, I think- the three of us maybe can play a little bit right and see how to piece it together okay so so we'll do that we'll right. work on that so. i am mindful that there's another meeting starting in here at 5 15. okay um 
And I just realized we've had a very... I know, that's I was thinking that as well, but... So, um, yeah, so if we're good with this, let me give some suggestions or we could find time for another date. Yeah. Or we've got our calendars. Right. Um, left on the agenda, um, I do have an update, um, partial update from Verizon, but it may need to be in a non-public session because of the confidential nature. As you remember, some of what they were doing, they, they were comfortable with us sharing publicly and other right. things, not yet. And they don't have definition on kind of the partial update I got. Yeah. Uh, and I'm still waiting for some more information. So that I'd want to do yeah. now that I, I have more information than when I did the agenda, <laughs> but I don't have definition, but I do have a bit of an update yep. there on that. Um, and then I do have some outstanding um, uh, things to talk about in terms of the franchise agreement, but I'm thinking given the time, if you're good, let's use it to find a, a, um, another date yep, yep. and maybe it's almost a principally a non-public session okay to give us time and space because we'll have you know we've had some good stuff tonight right. today oh yeah absolutely just, it just yeah um I think we're good with you, Stephanie. Yeah. So yeah, you I don't don't be good. yeah, I can log us out. Okay. And yep. you'll need to ask for your public comment too. It's on your agenda. Oh, that's right. But we we don't have do we have anyone on? We okay. don't. It's, yeah. Okay. So the melee. I think good. yeah. So should we basically just sort of verbally say, yeah, because that we don't have any participants here, we're just going to phase out public comment for like yeah there is no public there's no public yeah, there's no public okay yep. but thank you Sammy. Cool. suzanne has trained me well <laughs> do you want to end the zoom uh no because we can still set the meeting yep. and then we'll formally adjourn knowing in case anyone watches the meeting and wants to know when the next meeting is right we'll we'll have that thank you thank you thank you thanks Okay. Um, Monday the 11th, Wednesday the 13th. Either of those. Good on the 13th. They're both good for me, too. 13th is good for me. All right. Okay. I have a meeting from 3 to 4. So um, maybe if we did it at 4.15. Sure, if that works. That way, if I've got... Need a little buffer there. So the 13th at 4.15. Okay. And I'll check on the room because if it's not this room, I'll find us a room. Right. Okay. September 13. 4.15. 4.15. Okay. All right. So. We do a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. All right. Second. Aye. All right. Okay. All right. 5 p.m. That.